and gentlemen, are we back? Yes, we are back with another video. Once again, peace and love to the people as always. Now for this one, you know what I'm saying, we're gonna get straight into it. Now Meek Mill released that album recently, Expensive Pain. Now at this cover art right here, you get to see a lot of things. Now pay attention, let's zoom in real quick. You see the checkered pattern right there, right? With the woman that's, you know, shirtless. You know, silhouette of the woman indicating the woman, you know what I'm saying, the bra out. Then you got the joint over here, got the booty out. Then you got the joint with the, you know, you know what I'm saying, got the thing out. A lot of symbolism on this. You got the car with the fire over it. You got the fire below it. You got the dirt bike with the X on there. You got the um, the jet ski right there. You got another car with the money right there. The flowers right there. Flowers everywhere. And this album cover title was Expensive Pain. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, even with that, let's get into it, though. So I noticed some things with that. I know how a lot of people was indicating this. And even, I might be going to lie. Shout out to I Expose Them Seeds, because I Expose Them Seeds actually was talking about this. And I know some people probably feel like, oh, you shot to I Expose Them Seeds? Yeah, he's a content creator as well. Now, we don't got to agree with everything that a person puts out. But yeah, I noticed that he was talking about this. You know what I'm saying? And I just wanted to see what you guys think about this. So you got Kawhi to take, you know, times where he dip off and stuff like that. And even times where in recent years, you know, uh, he was in Toronto, stuff like that. And you know, you got the L.A. joint on the hat. You know what I'm saying? He'll grow the beard out. He got the braids. Looking scuffy. You know what I'm saying? And this right now, Kawhi's not playing because he's injured. But you see memes like this. Funny, right? Could be just like a, you know, a joke. Just making a joke. But, you know, the, the running joke with this is, you know, they they, they kind of act very similar. Like, you know, Kawhi be acting awkward. Meek Mill be acting awkward. You know what I'm saying? They kind of got that no rhythm in the dancing. Both of them got that. Meek Mill, can Meek Mill ball? Meek Mill got the size to ball. I think Meek Mill be going half of this. Like, he got that viral clip of him boxing. And people would be clowning that. Now, you know. Now you know that shit was some nonsense. Even with this Kawhi, and they got the hair out. This is like rare. Because we ain't seen Kawhi with his hair out balling like that. You know what I'm saying? All we see is him with the bridge. So that's like a rare time. To even right here. This kind of look like young Kawhi. But he got the Toronto jersey on. So and even at this time, making the runs, you know, doing the workouts and all that type of stuff. This look like like Kyle's Kawhi in this picture. It's kind of a little crazy. I'm like, damn, it's like Kawhi look like he got young as hell in this picture. But he got the Toronto shirt on. You feel me? Even just right here. Focus. Got like the Jordan po Jordan poise face, right? <laughs> I don't know. Look at them shoulders, though. This just be looking a little cyborg sometimes. Now, this is the guy that was guarding LeBron. Got the hands that are the size of Shaq as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, whoa. Like, yeah, to make that type of face. Even with this. Now, this is what I suppose to see is talking about. i seen the video. i seen other people allude to this as well. Now this could be Meek. This could be him being Meek. You see how he got that awkward pose back there? Look at that. You can't say that on like Meek. With that type of pose right there. And then you got, you know what I'm saying, Future right here, then Drake. Now Drake is kind of like a, a, a clue with this because, you know, you've seen his time in Toronto, what I was saying. How he got that ring. You know what I'm saying? The six God, all the connections of that and all that. You know what I'm saying? The, the selfies and stuff like that. And even with the height fluctuation, they kind of messed with that as well. But you know, like I said, he was like a, he had a one year over there, got the ring in that one year. So that was a campaign that propelled Kawhi's, you know, legacy in his career. Cause at times like that, people was like, oh, he ain't better than LeBron. And then this brought him into discussions with LeBron. Cause remember he was guarding LeBron in his trips in the finals. It was some that San Antonio won, some that Miami won. You know what I'm saying? So it was him guarding LeBron. That's what we've seen in skill set and stuff. Even with this. We've seen how Drake is like this, right? Slunched over. Then we see him like this. And Kawhi is listed to be, what, like 6'7? Six, 6'7? Seven? Six, seven? And Drake is, what, like 6'2 or something. So you know that the height fluctuates a little crazy too, though. You see that right there. So that brings to like the meek, like how they be on tour and stuff like that. Now, representing both of them, like I was telling you, the awkwardness, like the. Kind of some things is like similar body language wise and even appearance wise how he had the um, braids back in the day. Meek Mill cut the braids off. 
But Meek Mill is definitely compromised. That's why I say that. Because why would he make an album cover if he wasn't compromised? You're talking about expensive pain. And then you put the checkered background in there. You know what I'm saying? You got the, the checkered floor on there. You got the women representing, you know what I'm saying, the degrading of the women and stuff. Because it's one thing to rap about that in the lyrics, but it's like you put it on the cover. So you let them know what it is. Even with this, bro, he got the black and red. You already know what that is. And then Drake got the black and white. So this is like the oath right here as well. Them representing both sides, you know, AKA being like the pillars as well. Cause once they had that beef going, it was like making a lot of things buzz and stuff like that. And I'm not saying it was fake. It could have been fake. Could have been some industry shit. But when they squashed it, that's when it led to like more publicity for both of them, propel both of their careers. It came around a different time period, right as well. Even look at Meek's uh, hand pose right here. Look at the people in the background. We got some faces back there. You got DJ Mustard. I know DJ Mustard playing a role of somebody. You got uh, PNB Rock. I see him. He the tall dude with the fro right there. Who was that, Safari? That looked like Safari right next to him. <laughs> That's probably not Safari, but you know, you got Drake over there throwing up the six with the six guy. But like I was saying, man, this is like the oath right there as well. Definitely the oath. You're throwing up the triple six or the devil horn right there. You know what I'm saying? In the colors. Yeah, triple six, three fingers. Even right there, the one eye symbolism. Meek Mill with the kind of like the three six hand pose. But it's like he holding a cup, you know what I'm saying? So he'll throw it off. And even look at Meek face like this, you know what I'm saying? It'd be times where it'd just be like the expressions and whatnot. The jaw bone and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? They got the same height for the most part. Now even with this, now we know with this, now you know Conscious X was talking about this, he had made a video on that. So some stuff is very on point. It's like, that's straight on point, that's accurate. Lil Snoop, the baby. Yeah, I believe that's the same person. Look at the eyes. Look at where the eyebrows are. Look at where the nose is. The same position, and it's like right on there. It's like a younger version. And then we've seen the picture with him with the mask. So that just shows he has the mask on. You know what I'm saying? And that's why he deleted that post off of his Instagram. Because it was roasting them in the comments. Not only that, it was like, oh shit. I'm pretty sure you've seen a couple comments. People are like, oh, you look like the mask. He probably seen that comment a little bit too much. Like, oh, let me get this out of here. Swipe. And even with this, this is like one of the last pictures of Lil Snoop before he was died. You know what I'm saying? Notice how he got a live on the cap. On the cap. Throwing up the hand symbolism as well. You know what I'm saying? To even Meek right here. He got Lil Snoop on the chain. He got Meek. No, no, he, you know what I'm saying? He got Snoop on it. He got Lil Snoop on the chain. And he got Nipsey Hussle on the chain. I think he got his grandmother on the chain as well. So, you know, even with this. Just to show you, this was the jump. At the time, but it was saying he playing the video game. He was playing the video game where he got shot. You know what I'm saying? And then notice that's the same hat he had, that live hat. Meek Mill with this. Oh yeah, with the line of the Kobe. So Meek Mill had the line about Kobe in the in the rap, but the people was not feeling that. So you know he was like, if I ever lack, I'm going out with my chopper. It'll be another Kobe. And people was like, oh, you referring to like going out like COVID. That was kind of like touchy at the time because people were like, oh, hell no, you tripping. You know what I'm saying? But if I'm ever, but if I ever lack, I'm going out with my chopper. It'd be another Kobe. Why is Meek Mill rapping that? Why would Meek Mill rap that? That's for shock value. Not only for that, that's like a sacrifice, right? Meek Mill knows that. It's very sacrificial in the album cover, in the things that go on in Hollywood and all of that. So. Even with this, is a representation of him knowing what that is. You know what I'm saying? There's some people that be locked up, but some people also that are slaves in the industry. Slaves, like AKA the viewers are slaves to thinking that some of these people are putting out good spells in the music, but it be dark stuff. And Meek Mill know about that. You know what I'm saying? It's the one eye symbolism with triple X on the, uh, on the, uh, the hoodie. You know what I'm saying? So this is for shock value as well. Look at this, like body size, you know what I'm saying? How Meek Mill like got more bulky right here. With the, with the gun symbolism to the head, the predictive programming. Even the symbolism right there with the hands. You know what I'm saying? So Meek Mill is definitely compromised. Like I, for the record, I rock with Meek Mills. You know what I'm saying? I got fam in Philly and all that. Been down there when I was younger. I rock with Meek. Could have Meek been a real person? Yes. A person that was compromised over time, of course, because you no know, Meek Mill, Meek Mill name got bigger over time, and then we seen different things. We seen him with a uh, Grand Hustle back in the day. He had the braids on the block and all that. To him 
you know, propelling his career, you know what I'm saying, beefing with Wale, you know, a little small stuff like that. To him, what he is now, he went to jail, and he came back, even in this picture, he look a little like he just woke up type shit. Like he had a do-rag on his head, you see the lines on his head, feel like he hired up, but this is running like the jail time. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of like strange. Let me see, let's see another one. He looking like he just faded right here. Meek Mill look out of it right here. So it could have been like predictive programming of him under the, the fucking MK Ultra at this time when he came out the jump. This nigga like he just got out the bed. He got the do-rag lines on his head. Eyes look like he just smoked the J or some shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Looking like he fried out that jump. So even like this. Even with this. This is the same guy that was crying about the COVID issues earlier. Talking, you know, it was kind of like, I, I ain't going to put the video in there because you know how they feel about that. But you guys got to look that up. How he was getting all fake emotional with it. And it was very weird to say the least. So that guy's compromised. That guy right there. Meek Mill is up in the gym speaking to the people. He got him right there. To even this man got on the mic. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, my man Meek right here. He's going to give back 100,000 chickens in the community tomorrow. He's that guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, this, like, you know how they go. They'll sell it. They'll size it up for the nonsense. You know what I'm saying? Look at this guy. And I believe this guy's probably masked up as well, though, because he just, he just be extra, extra with the agendas. Now, if y'all know this dude right here, you follow this dude, you would know exactly. He be having some, like, kind of hard-to-watch type moments on TV. He be cringy. Cringy, that's the word. I be like, oh, that shit is cringe, but I don't watch TV. But if I catch some stuff that he on, I be like, bro, this is why I don't watch TV. This shit is just nonsense. To even this, like, the beef we had with Safari, all that, you know, the, uh, how he came in the game with Nicki Minaj and whatnot. To even this, like, we get it, get on this. This is, like, what I'm going to end it off on. Triple six right there, standing next to James Harden. Now we know Kawhi Leonard, the height of him, 6'7". James Harden around, what, like 6'5". You know what I'm saying? So, you know the height difference. The look at Kawhi right there. How Kawhi is a little bit shorter than him. That's just like Meek right here, you feel me? You feel me? That's crazy, bro. To even the awkwardness, you see how Kawhi is back there like, man, I ain't think about what y'all saying like that. This is the type of shit that Meek would do. If Meek was in the NBA, what player would Meek be? Meek would be Kawhi Leonard, cause, <laughs> you feel me? The nigga is like to himself, he be chilling. He just be cooling, you know what I'm saying? To even this right here. You seeing the height and all that. You see like the shoulders and all that. <laughs> Kawhi be looking like extra fucking cyborged up sometimes. Could this be a bodysuit or could this nigga just be hitting the gym? Who knows? But I think something is going on there though. Even with the height right here, you see? Are they like the same height right now? What you seen before? Now James Harden got on some flatter shoes. Meek Mill got his sneakers on. But how the hell are they the same height? You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, right? Platform shoes. To even with Young Thug, he got the checkered attire on there. So you already know. What did this one say? Babylon. Oh, it say Babylon on the shirt. Oh, damn, I didn't even notice that before. So he got that on there. Oh yeah, Meek, you know what I'm saying? Even with uh, Uzi, covering the eye on the agenda pushing, you know, look at the face, face he's making. To look at their height again. A little different. To even this with Travis Scott, how they mess with the height. Let's look at this. See how, you know what I'm saying? Let's make it all cool to like right here. Now I know it's probably like a, it's on a stage, but how is he that, the height switch up to like that? He down here, he up here now. You know what I'm saying? The platform shoes, they do anything that's like, yeah, let me, you know what I'm saying? Let me get it. To like right here. To right there, him and Meek, you know what I'm saying, like the damn same height. How the hell is that? And you just seen him and Meek standing next to each other. Now you got him and Meek about to be the same height. And this old Travis Scott, when he first came up, Al Furrow and shit like that. To even this, all in together, so it lets you know, like, this could be Kawhi. That could be, you know what I'm saying, James Harden as he is. And that could be, you know, Travis Scott as we know. Even that, like, you know, throwing up the devil horns out there, had a fake beef and shit like that. Or was it really real? Hmm, who knows? To even this, like, Meek Mill at the brick wall. Back on the block, we had old Melly right there with him. So Meek Mill know about this, bro. Look at all this stuff, bro. To even in the black and red whip, the black and red in the inside, the interior. Even the black and red watch with the black and white. Come on, bro. Meek Mill know about this. Even the hat. Look at the attire. Peep everything. You think Meek Mill don't know about that? To even this, we're gonna end it off on this. 
Then, like, I see something that really even, like, threw me off was the fact that it was, like, a, a, a Philly number. And you from Philly. And I'm like, hold up. And, and you know I'm from Philly. Yeah. And then. But people can have numbers from anywhere. Nah, fam. This just wasn't anybody, though. Right. This was, like, you know what I mean? Like, I fuck with the ball music and everything. So, like. Oh, like, the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, hold on, wait. Hold on, wait. Hold on, hold on, wait. It's only it's only certain amount of rappers. I know I didn't. Hold on, I didn't blaze her, so I know hold you ain't talking about me. <laughs> hey yo. You not saying what I think? Come on. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I ain't many niggas I listen to from Philly, so you know what I mean. You so know. wait, wait. Who you listen to from Philly? Hey man. <laughs> Do you still listen to him, whoever it was? The nigga shit hot, fam. Like, his shit blazing. So, you know what I mean? Y'all can do some deductive reasoning and figure Damn, out, you know what I mean? How this nigga in Philly. I used to work with you know him. What I mean? Oh, how this nigga in Philly? You talk exactly how like this nigga in Philly, man. Is you talking about Meek, though? Because Meek will blaze a lot of bitches out here. <laughs> Meek fuck my bitch, bro. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, Meek, y'all here fucking up households, Meek. <laughs> Hold it, wait a minute. Y'all thought I was finished. Oh my <laughs> What a black story, Oh man. shit. Oh, hey, Meek, you out here fucking. Because Meek will please a lot of bitches out here. Meek, fuck my bitch, bro. Ah! <laughs> hey, we're going to end it right here because this nigga was Tell heated about that shit. What the fuck is that, man? I got Rollo hat on my fucking head. <laughs> Niggas yelling all this real shit. Oh shit. Nigga hella heated. Like about the crowd, that shit. That nigga was heated about that shit. <laughs> hey, he was alluding to some other stuff, but he was actually mad about now that as well. Tell me what the fuck I say something that's a lie, nigga. I'm cool. Hey, but y'all let me know what y'all think on a serious note, man. Is Meek Mill compromised? Now with all those clues that we've seen, I don't know, man. I'ma let y'all be the judge of that. And even the Kawhi Leonard connections, bro. You can't say there's no similarities with that, but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Peace and love, I'ma come back at y'all. You already know.